In this podcast episode, Brett Weinstein delves into the current political landscape, the existential threats facing humanity, and the implications of government and corporate actions on society. His insights are framed within the context of the upcoming 2024 elections, where he contrasts the potential outcomes of a Trump victory versus a Kamala Harris win. Throughout the discussion, Weinstein articulates a series of interconnected themes that highlight the fragility of our civilization and the urgent need for a paradigm shift. Weinstein begins by expressing his discomfort with politics, describing it as a necessary evil in light of the high stakes involved. He emphasizes that the current political environment is unlike any other in history, with dangerous ideas coalescing under one political banner. He argues that the Democratic Party has become a repository for these harmful ideologies, which he believes poses a significant threat to the republic. In contrast, he views the Republican Party, particularly under Trump, as a wild card that could either lead to positive change or devolve into chaos. The implications of this political dichotomy are profound. Weinstein suggests that the accumulation of dangerous ideas within the Democratic Party has created a scenario where the potential for tyranny is heightened. He warns that if Kamala Harris were to win the presidency, the consequences could be dire, as her policies may further entrench the very ideologies that threaten individual liberties and societal stability. In this context, he sees a Trump victory as a chance to harness a coalition of diverse voices that could steer the nation toward a more constructive path. Weinstein articulates a sense of urgency regarding the existential threats facing humanity, which he categorizes as a Russian doll of crises. He identifies nuclear war, engineered pathogens, and the fragility of our technological systems as primary concerns. The reckless behavior of global powers, particularly in the context of nuclear armament, is a source of anxiety for him. He argues that the sobriety that once characterized nuclear deterrence has eroded, leading to a dangerous game of brinkmanship that could have catastrophic consequences. In addition to nuclear threats, Weinstein raises alarms about the potential for engineered pathogens to escape control. He critiques the handling of the COVID-19 pandemic and the subsequent rollout of mRNA vaccines, suggesting that the remedies have often been worse than the diseases themselves. He posits that the lack of transparency and accountability in public health decisions has created a fertile ground for misinformation and distrust, further complicating our ability to navigate these crises. The discussion shifts to the role of technology in shaping our current predicament. Weinstein argues that while technology has the potential to enhance our lives, it also introduces new vulnerabilities. He highlights the fragility of our civilization, which has not been tested by the same evolutionary pressures that shaped our ancestors. The rapid pace of technological change, coupled with a lack of wisdom in managing its implications, has left society ill-prepared to deal with the consequences. Weinstein emphasizes that our reliance on technology has led to a decline in self-sufficiency and critical thinking. He laments the loss of skills that were once commonplace, suggesting that this has contributed to a collective learned helplessness. As people become increasingly dependent on technology for basic functions, they lose the ability to navigate the complexities of the world around them, making them more susceptible to manipulation and misinformation. A central theme in Weinstein's discourse is the emergence of the unity movement, a coalition of individuals who transcend traditional political affiliations. He believes that this movement represents a critical opportunity for change, as it brings together diverse perspectives united by a common goal, to reclaim individual liberties and foster a healthier society. Weinstein argues that the unity movement is not merely a support system for Trump, but a force that can hold any leader accountable to the values that matter most. Weinstein envisions a future where the unity movement can exert pressure on political leaders to prioritize the long-term well-being of society over short-term gains. He believes that this coalition can serve as a check on power, ensuring that leaders remain responsive to the needs of the people. By fostering collaboration among individuals with integrity and courage, the unity movement has the potential to navigate the complexities of the current political landscape and steer the nation toward a more hopeful future. 
Weinstein draws parallels between biological organisms and civilizations, arguing that both are susceptible to decline and dysfunction. He explains that just as organisms accumulate damage over time, civilizations can become fragile due to the accumulation of poor decisions and harmful ideologies. This fragility is exacerbated by the lack of mechanisms for renewal and adaptation, which are essential for survival in a rapidly changing environment. He posits that the current state of civilization reflects a failure to recognize and address these vulnerabilities. The political and corporate systems that have evolved are not equipped to respond effectively to the challenges we face. Instead, they often prioritize short-term solutions that exacerbate long-term problems. Weinstein calls for a re-evaluation of our approach to governance and societal organization, emphasizing the need for a new paradigm that prioritizes resilience and adaptability. Weinstein introduces the metaphor of the phoenix as a symbol of renewal and rebirth. He argues that just as, as the mythical bird rises from its ashes, society must find a way to emerge from the current crisis stronger and more resilient. This process of rebirth requires a collective effort to jettison outdated ideologies and embrace new ways of thinking that are better suited to the challenges of the modern world. He emphasizes that the key to this transformation lies in the ability to learn from past mistakes and adapt to new circumstances. By fostering a culture of critical thinking and open dialogue, society can create an environment where innovative solutions can flourish. Weinstein believes that the unity movement can play a pivotal role in this process, as it brings together individuals who are willing to challenge the status quo and advocate for meaningful change. Weinstein expresses deep concerns about the rise of tyranny in contemporary society. He argues that the clamor for safety and security has led to a willingness to sacrifice individual liberties in exchange for perceived protection. This trend, he believes, is dangerous and counterproductive as it undermines the very foundations of a free society. He warns that the current political climate is ripe for authoritarianism as people increasingly look to the government for solutions to complex problems. Weinstein argues that this reliance on government intervention can lead to a loss of personal agency and autonomy, ultimately resulting in a society that is less free and more controlled. He calls for a renewed commitment to the principles of liberty and self-governance, emphasizing the importance of individual rights in the face of encroaching tyranny. The conversation also touches on the economic implications of government actions and policies. Weinstein critiques the current economic system, highlighting the dangers of excessive government spending and the manipulation of currency. He argues that the practice of printing money without accountability erodes the value of currency and undermines the economic stability of society. Weinstein warns that this economic mismanagement has far-reaching consequences particularly for the most vulnerable members of society. As inflation rises and purchasing power declines, the gap between the wealthy and the poor widens, exacerbating social tensions and instability. He advocates for a reevaluation of economic policies that prioritize long-term sustainability over short-term gains, urging a return to principles that promote fiscal responsibility and accountability. Weinstein discusses the relationship between government and corporations, highlighting the phenomenon of regulatory capture. He argues that corporations have increasingly aligned themselves with government interests, creating a symbiotic relationship that benefits both parties at the expense of the public. This dynamic, he believes, has contributed to the erosion of individual liberties and the concentration of power in the hands of a few. He emphasizes that this alliance between government and corporations poses a significant threat to democracy and accountability. As corporations gain more influence over policy decisions, the interests of the public are often sidelined in favor of profit-driven motives. Weinstein calls for greater transparency and accountability in the relationship between government and corporations, advocating for policies that prioritize the well-being of citizens over corporate interests. As the podcast draws to a close, Weinstein reflects on the future of society and the potential for positive change. He expresses hope that the unity movement can catalyze a transformation in the political landscape, fostering a culture of collaboration and innovation. 
By embracing diverse perspectives and prioritizing the common good, society can navigate the challenges ahead and emerge stronger. Weinstein acknowledges that the path forward will not be easy, but he believes that the collective effort of individuals committed to positive change can make a difference. He encourages listeners to engage in meaningful dialogue, challenge prevailing narratives, and advocate for policies that promote individual liberties and societal well-being. Ultimately, he envisions a future where society can rise from the ashes of its current challenges, much like the phoenix, and create a more just and equitable world for all.